Hiya, and welcome to a spontaneous edition of Kiki vs. IT. You'll probably notice that I'm not done up as usual, and I'm also not in my studio. I am in my bedroom. It's because I'm not feeling all that great, but I was still moved to do this today. Uh, there is an article floating around about the book, I Can Be a Computer Engineer, starring Barbie. I'll link to the article below. I'm usually the first person in these kind of situations to say, you guys, you're being a little bit too sensitive. But in this case, it's kind of appalling. And as someone who considers myself to be a female computer engineer, I'm actually pretty offended. So uh, it's worth stating that this book is not new. It was released last summer in 2013. So it has been around for a while and it's only now that people are causing a stink. I'm guessing because most of us haven't read it. Um, I did hop on the Barbie computer engineer bandwagon back when the Barbie came out. I was so excited. It was also the first year of picture me and computing day, which later kind of faded because of computer science education week. But that year, Barbie actually stood up and was our spokeswoman for the very first Picture Me and Computing Day. I was so glad they were coming out with a computer engineer Barbie. I thought it was a huge step forward. And so I embraced that edition. And Mattel was fantastic for that entire series. Barbie even posted on her Facebook page. And I think she may have tweeted. It was kind of cool. At any rate, uh, flash forward to now where I'm getting a peek of this book and I actually bought the Kindle edition. I wanted to just rent it from my library because I didn't want to financially support this. Uh, but the Kindle edition I'll link to down below if you want to kind of see what all the hubbub is about. But the article does a good job of going into each of those things. If you haven't read the article, the long and short of it is that Barbie's supposed to be a computer engineer. We see her sitting at a table, working on a computer, talking about making a great computer game, and her little sister gets so excited, and then she says that she's only doing the designs for the game. She needs these two other boys, Brian and Steven, to actually code it up for her so that it's a working game. That right there is super insulting. There are so many things that I could go into about it, but the point is not even that she's designing and they're programming. It's perfectly valid to be a designer. That's awesome. And if that's what she's doing and that's her industry, cool. But it's not. They're claiming she's a computer engineer and instead she's just designing this game for the the boys to code up. Later we find out that they're still in school, that they're in a class and it's a class project, not that this is what she's doing for a living, uh, which I don't know if that actually makes it better or worse because if they're all in the same class then you would assume that they're supposed to be learning to program, especially because it's a computer class and therefore she should at least have part of the coding to do herself. They should explore that. She can even say that it's difficult, but for her not to have her hands in it at all. And now I realize this is a children's book, but this could have been helped greatly by a couple of things. Uh, one would be not to call it computer engineer Barbie if she's a designer. Call it design Barbie. That's simple enough, right? Uh, the other thing would be, don't have it be Brian and Steven that are helping her. Have it be Brianna and Steven that are helping her. That addresses one of the issues just right there. But this perpetuation that programmers are all guys, and even in classrooms, that it's the girl that goes towards the design and the boy that goes towards the coding, that's not helping anyone, especially to feed that to little kids. It just makes me sick. The book goes on. 
Barbie gives her computer a virus and then she spreads it to her little sister's computer and she can't fix it by herself. Then her teacher, who's also a woman, tells her she has to take out the hard drives of the computer to get her information back, but she feels like she can't do that on her own. So guess what? She has Brian and Steven help her. And then in the end, she takes all the credit and her sister gives a report about what a great computer engineer Barbie is. She's not a computer engineer. And if she were, then those events prove she's not a great one. And yet now her sister has this image of what Barbie does as being a computer engineer. Gives me a headache just to think about it. Deep breaths. I would like to say shame on you, Susan Marinko, who's the author, and Random House, who was the illustrator, likely publisher, uh, and Mattel. Just shame on you. I mean, I know you worked with NC Wit to get the Barbie out in the first place. Couldn't you have at least had just one female engineer from NC Wit look at it before you released it to the public? No. Here's my open letter to Mattel. We want you to make this right. And it starts with a formal apology to women in computer science. I'd like you to read the facts. I'd like you to acknowledge that this is an industry for women and there are many great things about it. If you need help with those facts, please contact me at kikiversusit at gmail.com and I will help you find some. Also, I think you should write an entire series of books around computer engineer Barbie and let this one be the first. She ends by saying, I can be a computer engineer, which acknowledges that she's not one yet and maybe didn't believe in herself to be one. Follow her through her journey. Help her get better at using computers and let the children of the world see her do it. Let Barbie graduate from college at the top of her class, go into industry, start at the bottom, and work her way up. If you need help figuring out storylines that are encouraging for women in computer science, I would be more than happy to help you. Please take some responsibility and don't leave it at this. This is horrible, embarrassing, misogynistic, and shameful. I don't care what news outlet you choose to put out your apology letter, but please make sure that you address the National Center for Women in Information Technology, as well as giving an apology to all of the girls and women across the world. We'll accept nothing less. Thank you for listening.